Meanwhile, VDOT crews have been working through the night to keep the roads clear after that winter storm. We want to check in with 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin, who's been inside the VDOT Command Center all morning and joins us now from Norfolk. Well, Dan, Ashley, the Virginia Department of Transportation officials say they had more than 100 trucks out here on the interstate during the peak of the storm. And even though those are the crews you and I both see, they had a lot more going on at their operations center. It's 12 hour shifts for these people behind the scenes as they run Virginia Department of Transportation's operation center with monitors and phones ringing. You can see behind us, it almost looks like a NASA movie. Their work never stops, especially as snow touches down in Hampton Roads. Jordan Ashley Walker is the senior communications specialist for VDOT. She says their team prepared for the worst and pre-treated the roads in case of a big snowfall, and it paid off. As people are waking up this morning, they're seeing roads that are mostly wet, but thank goodness primarily clear. Having clear roads now doesn't mean they'll stay clear, so the crews are still monitoring ramps, bridges, and overpasses for slick spots, and they'll dispatch crews accordingly. We're really going to be concerned about that refreeze, especially in shady spots that might not have gotten the sun and the wind that we're expecting today. Walker says they prepared for snow to hit our region months ago. After 710 days without snow, Walker says she's glad we didn't see as much snow as crews prepared for. You just shift your operations shift your plans and respond accordingly. Regardless of any adjustments, Walker says people should continue to listen to their advice and drive cautiously. I do think that motorists have been mindful of the messaging that we've put out. VDOT still recommends those who hit the road take their time, drive slowly, leave extra space between you and the car in front of you as those wet spots dry up. Live in Norfolk, Megan Shin, 13 News Now.